Hey everyone, Solid Ash here. Welcome back to enable FSR 3 and frame generation in Space Marine 2. You need the look FZ FSR 3 mod version 0.10.4. It's a paid mod. All links will be in the description box. Also, there is Google and you can easily find it too. So, download version 0.10.4 FSR 2, FSR 3, 220 files. Extract it and you will get this two folder. We just need to copy most of these files to the game installation folder. You can open it from Steam. This is the game folder. From here, go to client PC, then root, then bin, uh, then PC. Okay, now we'll just copy all the mod files in this folder where the game exe file is located from common. We'll take this two win mm file first. Since I have done this already, uh, there will be this replace pop up for me. Copy this nvngx.dll from optional nvngx folder. We also need these two registry files, but we have one more file to copy and then we'll come back. Now go back and open FSR2, FSR3, 220 folder. Copy this .asi file and paste it here on the same place as before. Let's go back to optional nvngx folder and take this two registry file to, um, for example, I will place this two to my download folder so I can easily access it from Proton Tricks because all we need now is Proton Tricks to access registry editor. If you don't have it, just go to Discover Store and type Proton Tricks or Proton. Install from here and launch it. Now find Space Marine 2 from this list and let's double click click ok select run regedit click ok click registry from here and import registry file here those two registry file we just copied on my download folder select this one enable signature overread dot reg and click open click ok great um, now we can close all this uh, now open uh, Steam and go to Specimen 2 properties. In launch option, we need this command which you can find on the description box. And from compatibility, select Proton Experimental. Alright, we are pretty much done. But one last thing to mention. The first time when you launch your game, this config file will be generated on the game directory. Now, if for some reason you don't see DLSS option in game settings, close the game and change fake NVIDIA GPU false to true. And also change AMD Unreal Engine DLSS workaround from false to true. Save and relaunch your game. It should work. I didn't have to uh, change anything here though. DLSS shows up all right and um, works for me without making any change in in the config file here so just in case all right uh, let's run the game and you will find my in-game settings there
Thanks. 